through the drive, continue ahead, unless traffic signs I direct you otherwise. Have you heard that on your HGV test? Have you done your HGV test? Or are you just preparing for your test and doing your training? I'm Patrick Bill, and this is Retro HGV Training Series. The video is designed to help you become better lorry driver and to pass your HGV test with ease. In this video, I'd like to show you how to drive up to the test standard and how to position yourself on a really not that difficult road. They are dual carriageways, but I want to tell you, I want to show you, I want to explain how to split the lanes, when it's good to split the lanes and when there is no, it's not necessary to split the lanes. I've been teaching people for almost 20 years now and I'm so sure about my techniques and training that I'm offering now pass guarantee. If you'd like to take advantage of this offer, please just call me on the number which is listed in the description or message me via website. Now, let me take you for this part of the test route. See what, how you can adjust your driving after that. Let me know in the comments as well if you liked it or not. So turning on this roundabout, you can split the lane and then just stay in, a, in your right hand lane through the roundabout. It's wide enough. And we're gonna be turning off this roundabout, just indicating left, checking your mirrors. And next roundabout, we're gonna be turning left. So. We have to just only approach. You have to be so much on the right to gain some space. And then again, going in this roundabout, stay to the right on, on the approach, and then looking around that there's bend, staying with the trailer all the way out, and then trying to get the cab back in, just for this, you know, um, like this bus they wanted to go they've got enough space so the trailer as you can see stayed in our lane Staying on 30 miles per hour here is perfectly fine, safe to do so. Just gaining some space into this corner, keeping the cab close to the curb, near to the curb, so the trailer can fit in our lane. And we're going to be turning left at the end of the road. So again, on this corner, just staying on a white line with the cab to get the trailer nicely in the lane. So turning left, looking to the left over there, if nothing is coming from the left and the right. And off we go, green light. I'm going to come back properly in our lane because I don't know if it's not going to change. As green is mean, I've told you that before. We're going to be turning left again. So it's a really tight corner here, very high curb. So again, waiting for the trailer to hit the, the wheels, to hit where the curb start curving, that's when we bring the trailer in. So this pull and push technique, if you can do it, you can do it. And as it's this arrow says we can turn only left here so stay in here using all the space and we're gonna look to the right 
if it's clear. It looks like it's clear. Enough space for us. And we're gonna be going second and exit of this roundabout, so just following the road ahead. I'm looking early on the roundabout, there is a car coming. We need to do two blockers so clear from the right. It looks like now it's just about time. I know that I will get the trailer off before this car, you can see, before the car really reaches us. 40 miles per hour here, 40 miles per hour here. Remember, just entering this road, 40. driving on the dual carriageway, especially with this speed limit that is so slow, it just looks very, very odd. So you need to be careful and not get, not get yourself, you know, too sleepy, I would say, because it's very easy, this truck to push you down the hill over 40. So keep an eye on speed. Still 40 miles per hour. side you can see everyone is following police car on this side we're doing 40 but there is no police car <laughs> so so people are getting faster it's good it's good signs when you're approaching the roundabout because they will tell you something so for example if there is no change to the road after the roundabout nothing will be said on the signs that's very important for you because that means two lanes approaching the roundabout and two lanes exiting the roundabout also if you think oh I don't know, I'm not too sure if I, maybe I missed these signs. Always, when you're approaching the roundabout, approach with the speed so you can observe a lot, that you can plan better. And you can look further away and see if there is still two, li two lanes after the roundabout. So like on this occasion, we're approaching, the lanes are very wide, we're going second exit, so 
and you can see this is still dual carriageway just after the roundabout so the lanes will be wide enough for you to go through the roundabout in your lane and you don't need to split the lanes just indicating left of course after the passing the last exit you will go into keeping the cab close to the white line so the trailer can follow nicely no signs on the approach so position yourself on the white line on to the approach staying in there we're not splitting here staying in the left hand lane nicely keeping the cup close to the curb and exiting the roundabout National speed limit, we can go a bit faster. That 40 mile per hour was really something. roundabout and see the difference so you can see the sign there two signs saying that the road will get narrow so from the two lanes it's going to be one so I'm just looking at the roundabout okay we've got two lanes they're quite wide okay I will stay still in the left hand lane going straight on second exit looks like it's just good for us to join this roundabout but in here have to be checking the mirror properly so no one gets into our lane and we've got now only one lane on this so let's see what's going to be next how this roundabout is going to be on the approach and through the roundabout and after 50 mile per hour safe to do it to keep this vehicle up to speed nice here because there was no sign that it's going to be two lanes on the other side of this roundabout and, and it's, it is a little bit too narrow really to stay in, a, in just one, one lane off we go building 
the speed. So again, the, the road is getting wider and wider. And let's see how the roundabout looks like. Going, following the road ahead, second exit again. Again, it just looks like one lane over there and really two very narrow lanes through the roundabout. So we're gonna split it, block everyone, indicate off, and off we go. or anything like that so struggling on the approach splitting the lanes blocking the roundabout properly so no one can go from any on any on the side of the truck indicating left that we're leaving the roundabout and off we go about first exit checking the mirrors both mirrors to see what's behind us if anyone is overtaking splitting the lanes on this approach on the approach to this roundabout as you can see we're gonna need a lot of space in the roundabout Okay, so that was the training, HGV training done just for you in this video. Please press like if you enjoyed it and share, comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, drive safe.